Hey guys, how's it going? So, um, this is what we're going to do today. And, um, it, you probably see it in the title when I give it. But we're going to read if the federal minimum wage is going to go up to 15 an hour. I know some of you are real curious about that. And you know what? I want to know what the cards say too. I really do. Now that we got Biden in there, we may have a shot at it. Now I'm going to find out when I start reading. I haven't, I haven't read on it yet. But I'm going to look into it. But it's it's a, a big thing going on right now. A lot of people are talking about it. He definitely wants it. We know he wants it. We know George is in the house. Okay. And so we got a real shot at it this time. Um, there's, there's a lot of people who say things. Let me put it this way. There's a lot of people who are trying to say that. Oh, if you up the federal minimum wage, everything's going to go up. It's going to be a disaster. You know, everybody's going to end up unemployed. I'm in the state of Washington, guys. Okay, that's where I am. And um, our unemployment is only a little bit high, only because we're in phase one and a half. Okay, because of coronavirus. But I've lived in this state for how many years now? Let me see, six, 14 years. Okay, and the federal minimum wage right now is thirteen sixty nine an hour. And it didn't cripple us. We're still alive. We're still breathing. We're still, you know, we still have things going on. It's only because of coronavirus that the unemployment is, is an issue. But businesses were able to pay things. Do things go up a little bit? Yeah, things will probably go up here or there. But these companies like Walmart, okay, um, Target, or um, Amazon, of course, all these businesses can afford to pay you know, $15 an hour. McDonald's, they got plenty of money. They could afford it. They could afford it. Would they possibly, you know, short staff a little bit? Maybe. Maybe they will, but they need to grow into it and, and pay people a uh, living wage. Another thing that would happen is if the federal minimum wage is, is raised, is that people would need government assistance far less. So they would not, be, we would not be paid. See, that's what you need to understand is if these big companies don't pay a living wage to the people, then the government has to make up for it by giving them certain benefits, food and this and that, healthcare, whatever. And so see, they get you there, you know? And so it costs us there to the taxpayer because we're, we're funding all these government programs because people can't afford to live and they have to, you know, live, live on it. You know, obviously housing, for example, you know, covering Section 8 housing because people are making seven twenty five an hour. So obviously if the federal minimum wage goes up and they can work full time, you know, 15 hour, maybe they won't need it as much. Okay, so there's some there's some pros there that people need to look at. But there, I feel it's a real um, myth. It's like mythology, you know, trying to say that, you know, companies are going to go under if they pay this wage. 29 states in this country, 29 states pay $7.25 an hour. It's also a myth that it's only high school or college students making it. There are people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and so forth. Many of them are working at that pay. Okay, so it's, it's damn time. But will it happen? And that's what I'm going to read on. I'm very curious to see if we'll finally break that barrier because that would be, that would give a lot of people relief. And when you think about it, think about it. I feel like I'm a politician. <laughs> I'm, I'm a tarot reader. But think about it. If people make more money, they're going to spend more money, which is good for the economy, right? That would be good for the economy, right? They wouldn't need government funding for so many things. So that's less you know, for the taxpayer. And then they're going to put more money into the economy because they're going to have money to spend. So it makes perfect sense to give that wage. And, um, but yeah, I'm sound like Bernie Sanders. And are you guys enjoying the memes? Oh my God. I, I had a thing. I joked with the group, um, last night and I said, I may make it a prerequisite that you have to give me a Bernie meme. Um, to get in because the birdie beams with him with crystals and sage and they're making tarot cards out of him. I love them so much. They're great. Let's get to it though. But that's just kind of some of my ideas. Just, you know, looking at it as a reasonable person, you know, people, 725 an hour. Do you know I made this when I was 19 years old? I made, I made that at a company and I'm 52 guys. 
The federal minimum wage is ridiculous. My very first job, I made $3 an hour. Okay, it's time. It's time to up the wage. So let's see. Is it going to happen? Let's go. Spirit, are they going to up the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour like they've been talking about? Now, when is tricky? But Biden seems to be getting things moving. I mean, he's coming in there like a wrecking ball. <laughs> he's wrecking everything and changing everything and rebuilding everything. But this would be major. And, you know, I was reading some things that the majority of even Republicans... I believe it's in the 69% of one of the polls I saw. Um, do you support an increase in the minimum wage? I bet you because there's, there's still a lot of Republicans that make that damn federal minimum wage. Okay. What, who doesn't want more money? And then I think it's about 83% was Democrats. So let's see. We're almost there. But yeah, think about it. People will spend more money because they have more money. They will be able to live. So think of McDonald's. People will go to McDonald's more because they can, they can afford to blow money on McDonald's because they make 15 an hour. So business will actually boom. Think about it. People will buy more on Amazon because they can afford it. People will buy more stuff at Walmart. You know, but yeah, 29 states still pay that wage, seven twenty-five an hour. Kind of funny, the cruelty card is below at the bottom of the deck because I'm just done. And it is cruel to pay people $7.25 an hour. I will tell you that right now. The very first card is the Ace of Pentacles. That's looking good. That's about abundance. That's all about abundance. Okay? So we've got the Ace of Pentacles, which is about abundance and money. That is the issue at hand. Will people be able to get that abundance that they need? What is the opposition? The gain card, well, that's positive too, really. It's actually going in the favor. But the gain, they would actually gain the money. So this is the issue at hand and so forth. Not necessarily opposing energy on there. Let's put it right there. So what do we got going on? Could get hung up in a little bit there. I do have the hangman here. So it could get hung up in Congress a little bit. It's probably not going to be something that happens really quick, okay? Um, but it has been hung up for a very long time. They have tried to get this going on. But I do like the Ace of Swords next to it. That's saying, nope, we're going to start moving with this one, though. So it will get moving, but it's going to be hung up a little bit, and then it gets moving and so forth. It's the right idea also with the Ace of Swords, It just like I was talking to you about. And yes, Ace of Wands, we have an opportunity. We didn't have this opportunity before with Mitch McConnell in there to raise the minimum wage. And Kentucky is one of those states where it's $7.25 an hour. But whoops, let me fix you guys. But we got the opportunity now with the Democrats in the House and, and the um, Senate. So we definitely got that. Now I do have I do have the power card for Pentacles. It would give people power over their lives. But I've got that tower. And so I know that makes me feel because you see the little people being thrown out and stuff. This is what like the Republicans are going to try to sell. It's going to be a disaster. It's going to be horrible for the economy. Everything's going to collapse. But that is more fear based. And that's what they want to sell to everybody. And we got Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi is the queen of wands for me. And so she's definitely all for it. We know that in the House. It's most likely going to pass the House. I believe that's why Nancy Pelosi is in there. 
We got that ruin card. See, that's the thing. Those Republicans, they're going to be like, it's going to be all tower. And it's going to be all ruin. It's going to devastate us, but it's not going to. This is a story. This is a story. We got that moon. They're going to try to sell the fears and uncertainty, you know, with what happens if you start paying people a decent wage and so forth. Let me look a little more. And yes, of course, they're going to try to defeat. They're going to try to defeat this. So you know they're going to fight it. And we've got that lust card. We've got Republicans in there. It's all about lust power. They're all, you know, in the corporations and everything like that. They're in their pocket. That's what they want going on. But, 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 and they're going to battle it out with the stripe card. They're going to battle it out. Where are we going with, though? It's going to get completed, completed this year, though. It's definitely going to complete. They're going to finally settle it up. I've got the strength card. And there you go. I got the change card. We got change and we got completion. So it's definitely going to be submitted because Joe Biden wants it. And everything we're going to complete, we're going to wrap it up. We've got a lot of strength. And I feel that is the Democrats are really going to get this going. And then we're going to have a change. So they're definitely up in the wage. Will it be 15? <laughs> This might be a quick read, guys, because it's not taking me very long. Will it be actually 15? I've got to see. But inevitably, they will come to terms. They're going to make an agreement. So, yes, it's definitely going up. But let's kind of find out, is the magical number going to be 15? I'm going to connect the higher self, which is the source. Am I connected? Yes. No. Maybe. Will it be 15 an hour? I'm actually getting a Yes. So I do feel it's going to be, it's going to be a battle. It's probably going to be hung up. So I don't feel this is something that is going, it, it's been hung up for a long time though. I have to acknowledge that, but then it gets moving and so forth. Then I got the star, which just crossed over the hangman. So that's good. So we definitely got hope there that we could finally get this thing moving. They are going to try to sell and that it's going to be a disaster for the economy. This is, this is a, not true. They're just in the pockets of the big corporations that don't want to pay people a living wage because it's going to, it's going to make, you know, it's going to cost them on their end. But the thing is, it does help the American taxpayer on their end that people aren't going to need all these government programs. They're going to be able to take care of their own selves and a lot less people are going to use it and so forth. It's going to be so much better, but we got that completion. So it's going to, they're going to complete something. We got the change card there, which is really good. But yeah, that lust for power expects some opposition and everything like that. They're going to try to defeat it, but they really can't because the Democrats are pretty much in alignment. They want to do this. And then the delivery of the that living wage. So I do feel it will go to 15 an hour. It looks real good, but it's don't expect it overnight. If it happens fast, I'm going to be, I, I would be blown away. I feel they're going to, they got to get it through Congress. They, you know, they're, what do they, they do little filibuster things like that, whatever they got going on. I don't claim to be a pro at this. I just read cards, but they will. It looks like they're going to approve it. They're going to approve it. But Pendulum does seem to agree that 15 is going to be the magic number. It would have been funny if I pulled the devil. It would have been funny if I pulled the devil out here and everything, but I did not. So it, it should happen. But, and then with that defeat, the disappointment, you know, the Republicans are going to be disappointed that it goes through. So I do feel it will go through. Um, they seem to be moving real fast, though, on things. You know, I, I have to give it to him. You know, Biden signed a lot of things, but he's doing things that he doesn't need Congress for. That's what he's getting out of the way. Then he's going to start submitting things to the floor. And that's where it's going to get really interesting. But yeah, I, I feel... Let's pull some Oracle cards on that. I would like, I'm just curious because I got abundance kind of cards. You know what I'm saying? But yes, change. It's definitely going up for sure. But Pendulum does seem to support that 15 an hour. But yeah, it's hard to believe people are still making 725 an hour. I mean, you got to be kidding me. I do have the card perspective card. So I feel like some others, I'm hoping a few Republicans may ha take on a different perspective once they hear some arguments and some pros 
about the wage. So I have a feeling a few um, a few of them may actually support it. I've got the love card, and that makes me feel the American people, they would love a bigger wage, of course. I got the card attachment. So what that kind of makes me feel is there are still going to be certain people that are attached to some catastrophe would happen if you start paying people a living wage. Isn't that a weird, weird thing to say? I mean, they, they're, they're really hooked on this. But don't believe it because it's just about they're, they've got interest with the corporations and so forth. And I've got that synchronicity card. So pay attention to your signs and stuff. If you start seeing number 15, as a matter of fact, I'm on 15 minutes right now. 15, 46, 47, as I say that. If you start seeing number 15, that should tell you something. But yeah, I, I, I do believe it's going to pass. I It's definitely changing and everything. And the pendulum does seem to support the 15 number and stuff. So I, I don't feel they're going to lower it. With the Democrats in the House, this should go through. But there's going to be some fighting. There, you know, there's, I've got the strife card. They're going to debate it. It's going to be a heavily debated um, issue. But in the end, I do believe it's going to pass.